Hi, this is Anna from Just Paint. I'm gonna crack open some water-based face paint and show you how to use different styles of face painting brushes. I've got all these brushes to show you how you can load them and apply paint to the face. We're gonna start with a round brush. This is a thin detail brush. You wanna make sure to keep the bristles together while you're going around in circular motions, shaping the bristles while loading the paint. If you notice that you didn't get enough water the first time and you need more, just dip the tip in and water will suck up into that brush and then you can go back and load a little bit more face paint. You want to make sure that it's shiny but not drippy. You want it to be creamy but not too dry. Once it looks perfect, then you can head straight to the face and throw down some fabulous swirls and twirls and push and pull teardrops from thick to thin. Alrighty, next brush is the medium angle. Angle is short on one side, tall on the other. This is perfect for scallops and dagger strokes. Get your brush wet, wipe off the excess paint. If you have split cakes, you can do beautiful one stroke work. I'm just gonna keep with a solid, going back and forth, back and forth, and testing it to make sure that it's not too drippy and not too dry. Now you can use dagger strokes just by slicing it like a knife across the skin and then pressing it down and rotating it to make these beautiful scallops. The flat brush, this brush is also perfect for one stroke rainbows, flowers, and butterflies. When you're using it with solid colors, you can do blending and you can do thick straight strokes or clamshell strokes. Load it up back and forth keeping all the bristles together once you have it nice and loaded, not too dry, not too wet, you can do smooth flat strokes on the face or you can twist it sideways and do clamshell strokes for butterfly wings, mermaid designs, and flowers. It's also great for blending. The next brush is a filbert. This is like a small blending brush. You can load this brush up with face paint and you can do multiple things with it. I love a filbert because it's very versatile. Load it up back and forth, back and forth, keeping your bristles together. Make sure that the paint is not too wet, not too dry. And then if you press and pull, you can make giant teardrops. If you drag it lightly, you can do feathered blending. And if you have it well loaded, you can use this brush like a stamp and make short chubby puddles. Alrighty-o! Next brush that we're going to try is the petal brush. This has a chubby base and a pointy tip. This blooming brush is out of this world. Load a light color first and make sure to load it all the way up to the furrow, the metal part, and make sure that the paint is really thick and creamy because you want to press a lot of petals with this. Next, dip the tip of your brush quickly and wipe off excess paint on the tip. This will make sure that the next color you load is a little bit more intense. Choose a darker color and just swirl it around a little bit back and forth so that the dark color starts to creep up the bristles but not too much because you still want that white to show. Third, go for another color, why not? Now we've got magenta, purple, and white and we're ready to do a pressing motion. Press the, touch the tip and press the rest and then you get these gorgeous petals. The harder you press, the different your petal sizes. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Have a great day.